Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, back with episode 6 of the News Division. And we're going to kick it off straight away because the open beta is now live, and if you haven't played it, I want you to be playing it right now. So the first bit of news coming from the open beta is that there are now two more new high-end weapons. That includes the Pakan and the Liberator. One of them's an LMG and the other one is like an M4 type assault rifle. As you can see from the picture on the screen there, it's actually from a Twitter user called Boomslang. He's also got a great YouTube channel and he makes really great Division content. So make sure you check him out before we move on to the next little bit now. And that is some more high-end items. It's actually some gas masks, some armor, and some bags. And these are actually taken from the Division website, I believe, that a Redditor user, The Great Soup, actually posted. His link will be in the description. But these items look really, really cool. And it shows you sort of how you can upgrade each set, I guess. But they just look so nice, like so clean. Obviously, I think they're CGI made. They look so dope. And if they're going to look anything like that in the game, then I can't wait to like get my guy fully geared up with all this high-end loot. So the first article of this episode is an IGN one and it's 11 impressive little details of the division. Now I can't really post too much of this article because there's so many cool things and I just don't know which one to choose. It's exactly as the title says, it's 11 impressive little details and I mean these are really cool so there's like good looking garbage, there's snow falling off a tree, there's like little bits of destruction. You really need to check it out, there's some nice animated pictures in there as well for you to get a real sense of what they're on about. But I highly recommend just taking a couple of minutes of your time to skim through it and have a look at some of them because they are really cool and actually quite interesting. We now have our first mission brief from the Division website and if you're not familiar with these, these were actually introduced I think in the alpha but they were in the closed beta as well. What it was is the Division sort of gave you a mission to do so there's one that was help out as many civilians as possible and little bits like that so the first one actually is to to help out as many civilians as possible. And so the way you do this is as you're walking around New York civilians will come up and it will say this civilian is in need of help. You pretty much just hold X and you'll give them like a can of soda or a med kit and that just like helps them out obviously. Once you're doing this you actually get a unique reward within the game. Not only will you get that unique reward but the agent that helps out the most or does the most missions and completes those you'll actually receive a little gift from the division. Now they don't go on to say what this is but it could be anything. It could be like a unique gear set. It could be literally could be anything. So I'll leave the article in the description. Also they'll keep updating it every day with another mission so make sure you're checking those out and trying as hard as you can to complete them. Now we move on to the community news division and right now we're going to kick it off with some high res pictures of the seven unique gear sets you'll get with a season pass or from pre-ordering some of the games you'll obviously get only a few of these but the reddit user herder has actually come up with seven high res pictures of these and we only had that small picture from yesterday and now seeing them in such good quality now makes me so much more hyped for actually getting these sets because I can't wait to use them one thing I would like to know is if you can actually mix and match them so wet, say wear the hazmat jacket with like the survivor jeans I think that would be pretty cool but we'll have to wait and see. Sticking with some high res pictures and things like that, we have another Reddit user here called X Slweni, I think that is, and he's come up with some division wallpapers. These are all custom made and they're absolutely beautiful. They're like very minimalistic, which I like, like not a lot going on in the background, so you can add your rain meters and whatever. But make sure you check these out. I'm sure he'll let you use them in your computer. So yeah, these are dope. I know I'm gonna use one, I haven't decided which one yet. As you can see, they're actually on the screen now, just going through, like cycling through, and you can already choose yours before you've even been to the link so I hope you do check them out like I said I'm always looking for division wallpapers because I just can't stick with the same one for more than a week so this is really dope to see and I'd just like to say thank you for giving me some more wallpapers to choose from now the last bit of news in this video is coming from another reddit user called Mott Nappy I think that is I've probably completely butchered his name but he's currently making an open beta map so he's added keys to it it looks really cool it's like really clean as well it almost looks like he's completely created it from the ground up but I think he has combined a load of screenshots from the map. I could be wrong but this looks so dope. I know I'm going to use it a lot in the future. I can't wait until we get a full release map picture to just see how good it's going to be because obviously we had that video yesterday where they showed a lot of the missions on the map and it just got me so hyped. So seeing this as well it gets me so hyped because now I can actually look at the map. I can't even describe how excited I am for this game. So make sure you check him out. And as always thank you so much for watching and giving me such great support on these videos. If you are new around here make sure to subscribe and if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and until then I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.